Good evening, Jimmy. Hello, teacher. Now we're still waiting for the participants to join. I had uh, 12 participants yes. from eight, you know, in the, in the prior class, I had eight and 12, okay? Yes, I know. So that, that's a good number, but right now, <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> Let me text them here. Se conectan, ¿verdad? Ojalá. Esta hora es un poquito más difícil, pero espero que sí. Yo les puse un mensaje a las 8 y ahí me contestaron, me dijeron sí, ok, teacher. Entonces. Démosle unos minutos, pero usted está conectado, es lo bueno. Sí. Sí, a pesar de la emergencia, es algo bien extraordinario, ¿verdad? pero ahí estamos. Sí. <ríe> sí, ojalá, ¿verdad? Que no suspendan este, clases para terminar la semana. Ojalá que no. All right. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello, Mrs. Lopez. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you, teacher. Yeah, I'm great. Great. Thanks. You know, I, I like your frame over there, the TV frame. Uh huh. Yeah, it reminds me. It reminds me of my um, childhood <laughs> when when I used to watch TV in in white and in, in black. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Antiguo, ¿cómo se dice antiguo? Uh, old. Old. Yeah, old. Yeah, you may say that. Okay, so I only have most mostly ladies tonight. Except for Felipe, you know, who's watching. Felipe is watching. Felipe Miron, you know, Felipe watching. Watching man. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. I, you know, I was, I was starting to get a little bit worried. Ya me estaba empezando a preocupar que no nadie va a estar acá. <laughs> Hello, Iris. We cannot hear you. El huracán. Dije, se lo llevó al huracán. <laughs> Ni Dios quiera. <laughs> but it's not raining yet, right? So it's not raining. All right, Iris. No. You know here. Hello. So it, it's so it, it's not raining at your house, isn't it? Not right. Not raining, but it's brighter. Um, yeah. It's, cold. It's, mm -hmm, correct. Cold. Yeah, it, it's it's chilly. You know, chilly. Chilly is like a little bit cold and cool, but it's not too cold. Chilly. Chilly. And it's windy too, right? It's is it windy? You know, a lot, very windy over windy. there. Con viento. Is it windy over there? Okay. Yeah. Nice. I think we should start. Let me ask 
Did you finish? <laughs> did you finish the platform already, or, or are you uh, on lesson five, lesson four, or do you need my help uh, somehow? I finished. You finished already. I finished. So you, you got you got the certificate. <laughs> Uh, pero no logré el 100%, en el 92 me quedé. But that's a good number. 90, 90% above is a great number. You know, 85, I would say it is great. 80, like we said in my hometown, raspado, right? <laughs> yeah, Miss Mirna, Miss Lapez is familiar with that, right? Now, not that she is, but she's a teacher, you know, she, she has some students. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I finished, I finished um, platform. Okay, you finished over everything. It, it, did you finish over the weekend, Mrs. Lopez? Last weekend? Or before? Yes. Okay. Last weekend. It was last week. Appreciate that. All right. So let's take a look at tonight's uh, class. Let me just say hello to um, Elizabeth. I know you're over here. Good evening. How are you? Hi, fine. Uh, it's great that you're over here. I know that there's an emergency and, you know, nationally, classes have been canceled. You know that already. Also, universities, you know, close uh, classes, so they're not teaching at all. I think only in Safor is the one time exception. Somos los únicos que estamos al pie del cañón. <laughs> right? Bye. Yes. We have to take advantage now that it's possible that the hurricane is not yet here in El Salvador. And hopefully it's not going to hit us you know, with a lot of strength. Ojalá que no golpee mucho. Hopefully. Primero Dios. Primero Dios. God's will, you know, God's will. De hecho, en inglés, primero Dios se dice, y se lo voy a mandar. I know some of you, or most of you, or all of you already know how to say this. Pero ya que lo ocupamos mucho, God's will. De hecho, sí se dice, God's will. God's will. Y de hecho, fue un error mío. La will tendría que ir con inicial mayúscula. Will. Mm -hmm. Porque es la voluntad de Dios. ¿Verdad? Okay. All right, God's That's will. In guts with capital letter too. So November the third, twenty twenty. Let me ask. This is a, a I would say a question of of uh, general culture, cultura general. Do you happen to know what's going on in the United States right now? Anything important that's going on in the United States that's happening? Uh huh. So what's happening in the United States right now? Algo importante que está pasando en esta Elections. Elections, right. Yes. <laughs> Presidential elections. First, yes. Is build, building. Building first. <laughs> Biden. 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 Yes. Biden. Correct. Biden against Donald Trump. The Democrat <laughs> uh, Biden against the uh, Republican Donald Trump. Yes. Let's see who wins. <laughs> and, and let's hope and let's cross our fingers, crucemos los dedos, that it's for something good. You know, for our fellow Salvadorians, para que la gente que esté en Estados Unidos esté mejor. Yeah. And in a yeah. way, it, it's going to help us, hopefully. You know, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, let's start right now with this. And uh, let me just one second. What's the word of the day? Unlike the other dates, tonight is going to be an image. Va a ser una imagen. Okay. And this happens to, you know, sometimes I would say that we are this type of person. Okay. Muchas veces nosotros nos identificamos con esto. And I hope that this does not happen to us very often. O sea, esperemos que quizás esta imagen no nos represente mucho. But sometimes, you know, this image represents our parents, it represents us, or so somos nosotros, or sometimes you feel this way. Sin leer quizás las letras que están acá, usted me puede decir, what's the attitude, or, or what's, the, what's the mood, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el ánimo de esta persona that has 
that has this speaker in there. So what's the attitude? Is he happy? Is he angry? Is he yelling? Angry. It's angry, but I would say he's very, very, very angry. You see that clouds in the, uh, his, his eyes and you see the tongue and everything. So facial expressions matter. So to fly off the handle means, help me please. Let's see, Felipe, what does that mean? Uh -huh, Felipe. So what does this mean, Mr. Ms. Ramiro? It's a less common way to, uh-huh. Sir? Felipe, if you can read this, this uh, sentence in here so you can help us exemplify or illustrate this um, idiom to fight off the handle, if you don't mind, please. Because I, I, I cannot hear you. Just read, please. Could you help us just read this part? You know, this. Just help us read, you know, read. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. To fly off the handle. Mm -hmm. Less common way of saying to lose one's temper, to get very angry. Correct. You may say, last night my mom flew off the handle, or you can say, I'm sorry, I flew off the handle at you yesterday, but I was having such a bad day. All right? <clears throat> if you still don't get it, that's okay, no problem. So let me illustrate it with this. All right? So let me just one second. Let me just move this image just a little bit. And there you go. Can you see the English version? And then can you see the translation as well over there? Can you see that? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate your feedback. So flight of the handle. This is the idiom for tonight. I would say for this evening. So it's a, it's an informal way to, to say lose the temper. But in Spanish, if you live in, if you live in uh, sorry about that, if you live in Guatemala, El Salvador, or maybe Honduras, uh, all over Central American region, so you may uh, say fly off the handle in a different way. So you may say perder los estribos. Sacar de las casillas, perder el control, ponerse como loco o salirse de las cabales. All right. So, and I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask Iris, Iris, have you ever flown off the handle? Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, write this in the chat. Have you ever flown off the handle? All right, so one thing, one very important, I would say the essential thing in here, it's you need to identify everyone, but right now let's, let me speak to you, it is. You need to identify the verb. The verb is fly off, salirse de, okay, o volar. And what's the past tense of fly, it is? Oh, no sé cuál es el pasado de fly. It's flu, you know, with E. I sent it, check, your, check the chat in there, check the Zoom chat. Can you read, please? Did you get it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, and remember that last week or two weeks ago, we started present perfect. And for the present perfect, you need to have have plus the verb. And the verb needs to be in like in Spanish, ado, ido, et cetera. So, so you, got, you gotta say flan, okay? You can say, I had, I had flown off the handle uh, many times. Me he salido de mis casillas muchas veces. If you wanna say that happened yesterday, okay? O perdí los estribos, you would say I flew, como que voló, I flew off, uh, I flew, le agrega off, and then you go, I flew off the handle, okay? When, I got stuck in traffic, you may say that. Are you getting the messages over there? Yes? Are, are you reading the messages? Let's see, yes, okay, thank you. So see, handle, handle is, you know, if you, if you uh, know how to ride a bicycle, if you know how to ride a bicycle, those are the handles, el manubrio, el manubrio. 
los estribos. So that's a handle. Handle. Also, handle means manejar, controlar. You know, you need to handle this. But in this, everything, you know, to fly it off. Let me just one moment over here. Uh, so let me just select something here. Sorry about that. And um, here. Oops, sorry. Let me uh, select this very quick. This, you know, what I'm uh, highlighting or circling means to fight off the handle, means perder los estribos, ponerse como loco, salirse de las casillas. You can also say, I lost my temper yesterday. You can say that. Or uh, when, uh, when nobody's listening to me, I tend to lose my temper. You can also say that. So it's up to you. So copy that, everyone. Are we clear on this example? It is. So be careful. So try not to fly it off the handle. That tratemos de no perder los estribos, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might happen. So let's move on. Okay, let's continue over here. So tonight, I think, I think it's a great idea. You know, I think it's a great idea to go over or to wrap up this uh, grammar. If you already completed lesson three from the platform, I think that you might be familiar with this lesson. You know, time for a change. You know, whether you are going to move out, out of the city, if you want to move out of your parents or to live with your wife or you're going to get a new life or you're going to buy a new house. Okay, so you got, this is a, a time for a change. Okay, so and what I want you to do is to take a look at these adjectives. Can you see the adjectives over here, everyone? The ones I'm sharing in the presentation. ¿Alcanzan a ver la, los adjetivos que están acá? Yes. En moradito. Yeah. Nice. You know, next to this uh, gentleman's uh, image and the, the one below is this lady reading a book. So in, in a way, what this is telling you is that we're going to be comparing, we're going to be comparing uh, ways of living or, or lifestyles. So... I'll be sending this image to you. And what you can do, and what I want you to do is to grab a pen, a piece of paper, and uh, maybe over there, just next to the word, just put mentally, or you can write it down. It's positive or negative. So one more time. All I want you to do is to write a P if it's a positive meaning, but if it's an, if, or an N if it's a negative meaning. But before you do that, antes que hagan eso, I want you to um, try to guess the meaning of some new words or to try to pronounce these words correctly. So listen up, please repeat after me. I'm going to say the word. I'm going to say the word and then you're going to repeat it after me. Yes? Yes. Thank you. Let's start with the very first one. Bright. Bright. Comfortable. Yeah. Everyone, please try to say it at the same time. So comfortable. Comfortable. Convenient. Convenient. Cramped. Cramped. Let me tell you this. If you are a, a, a frequent, or li listen to this. If you're a frequent user, a frequent user of public transportation like bus or like microbuses, like we call them in Spanish. So you are familiar with the term, you know, that if a bus or a, or a microbus or this minivan is cramped, it's more than crowded. Like we say, topese, you know, topese quieva ropa, they say, right? It's cramped, okay? So that's the adjective. It actually applies to that, totally applies to that. Next one, dangerous. dangerous. Unfortunately, we, we live in a very dangerous place, okay? Unfortunately. Then we say dark. What about dingy? Any idea? Sucio, it means sucio. exactly it means yeah. sucio, pero así puerco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, exactly. Then we have expensive, expensive, okay? Huge. Huge means a very, very big. Okay. No se escucha. Excuse me? Huge. Huge. Okay. Inconvenient. Mm -hmm. 
modern, modern. Noisy. noisy sometimes it's like you have very noisy friends okay and and this means with a lot of noise but if you want to say like your 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 uh, neighbors are messing with your life you, you use this can you see the difference one says has to do with your nose and well with the other one with the sound too much sound okay so that's that's basically the main difference over there so noisy there's too much sound you cannot hear what what you're doing what you're talking to too much music loud music and the other one is nosy nosy o sea, metiche or what we say in spanish metido okay so those are the, the two main difference noisy and then nosy then private private okay private quiet now you see that noisy and the and quiet are opposites okay mm -hmm. and then of course you have safe and dangerous small etc and then we have shabby shabby means a uh, very used item or, or a place or something for example your pair of shoes if you are very used and they're shabby it means that they don't really have color or they're pretty much light term so that's shabby usado de castado okay that's shabby this one so i want you to do two things everyone i'm going to split you up into pairs in the breaker rooms right now you're eight so that's okay, you can practice. And first of all, you're gonna tell your classmate, I think bright is negative, comfortable is positive, convenient is positive, cramped is negative, dangerous is negative, dark is negative or positive. It's up to you. Okay. That's the first task, copy that, yes? Yes. Number two, I want you to uh, tell your classmates what would be the opposite. If something is dark, what's the opposite, bright? If something is dangerous, the opposite is? Is? Safe. Correct. And that's the second test. Number three, tell your partner to positive and to negative features, or sea, characteristics, qualities about your house or apartment. All right? So, and you have this example. My apartment is very dark and a little cramped. However, it's in a safe neighborhood and it's very private. So all I'm saying is that, number one, tell your classmates, okay, this, this is positive or negative, and this is the opposite, or a synonym or an antonym. And number three, describe your place, your house, your mom's house, or you make up, also invent them. No problem. So positive, negative, uh, and then the opposites of the adjectives. And number three, describe your place in person. All right? Okay. Thank you. So here we go. I'm going to be sending this to you right away. So just be patient, just one second. But join the join the uh, breaker room. So I'm gonna send it to you to the pers to the personal chat. Okay. All right. So just one second. Any questions, by the way, or preguntas? You're, you're free to ask. Remember, you're free to ask. Oh, are we okay? It's okay. It's okay. All right. Nice. And three, two one action there we go i just sent it to the uh, personal chat go ahead please join the breaker rooms So Ingrid, uh, could you please join the breaker rooms? Hello, teacher. Hello, Iris. All right, so could you please, uh, Angel is in here, nice. He's in the house. <laughs> nice, nice, so could you please tell me very quickly, uh, it is which ones are negative or positive very quickly please uh 
la primera, brillar positivo. Okay. Comprobo positivo. Companion positivo. Positive. 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 <laughs> Cramped. Mm. Cramped. Negativo. Yes, topado, Cramped. topado. Cramped. Cramped. Dangerous. Yes, cramped. Uh -huh. Negativo. Negative. Negative. Dark es oscuridad. Oscuro. O no. Oscuro. Oscuro. Neg Darkness. Negative. But it actually depends, I would say, because in my case, I prefer a dark place. I don't know why, but I don't like bright spaces. But it's because I have a problem with my eyes. Porque a mí me, la vista me molesta, sí, demasiado. El brillo. Oh. For me, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, I would say, positive. But for most people, you know, commonly speaking, is negative. Okay? It's negative. Negative. Yes, it's negative. Okay. Um, Let's see. I'm going to ask Angel. Angel, can you hear us, sir? Oh, All right. So, so, sir, so are you following the conversation we're having right now, sir? Are, are you keeping track? Are you keeping track of our conversation right now, sir? The conversation. Of this, I mean, do you know what we're what we're doing right now? The or positive, we, yes, negative. No. Yes. Okay. Could you please could you please continue? So uh, Iris just left it on um, left off on Doric, and then you're gonna go ahead and continue with Dingy. So tell me if, if Dingy is positive or if it's negative. Please. Okay, Dingy. Dingy, what I mean, Dingy. Digi means a very, a very dirty place, like where pigs live. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's positive. Uh, no, actually, it's, for them it's positive, but for most people it's negative. <laughs> you oh, don't like to, negative. to live to live among trash or garbage, do oh. you? Expensive right. is negative. Yes. All right. Who? Huge. Huge. Uh, Huge. Huge. What is what is huge? Enorme. A huge, a very, very Enorme. big, big, enorme, oh. enorme. Oh. All right. Those but big. if you have a huge problem, that's negative. <laughs> okay. It's if you have a huge negative. problem or a, or a or a huge credit card debt, that's a negative. Uh, okay. <laughs> inconvenient, negative. Convenient, inconvenient. Convenient, convenient. Inconvenient, negative. Right. Mother, uh, positive. Yeah. Noi, noisy, negative. Yes. So, uh, what's the difference? Sorry, Angel. What's the difference between noisy, this one, and nosy? What's the difference? You can say the Spanish version. I said that. The, di the difference, noise, is. Uh, uh, como ruidoso. Ajá. Uh -huh. What about the other one? Y no si es introvertido o algo así. Entrometido, ¿verdad? Or like we say metido, metiche, chambroso. Uh -huh. And now we say that. Okay. okay, don't be that person. <laughs> Let's see. Now, I'm going to ask one by one. So, uh, it is. So, private. Private. Positive. Privado. Pues, mm -hmm. Positivo. What about you, Angel? Quiet? Quiet? Angel? Silencio? No, I'm not, I'm not telling you to be quiet. <laughs> I'm telling you if it's positive or negative. You know, so... Callado, ¿verdad? Como, uh -huh. like, like Callarse. Callarse. Like, a quiet place is like peaceful, there's no noise. You know, that's a quiet place. Da Person, the person uh, tell uh, be quiet. Yes, <laughs> correct, correct. But in this case, we're talking about like places, like your apartment, uh -huh. your house. If it's a quiet place, if you don't have uh -huh. noisy, if you don't have noisy neighbors, it means that you live in a quiet and peaceful neighborhood. All right. Okay. So it is. What about the next one? Safe, safe. Safe. 
um, seguro es yes. positive. Yes, of course, 100%. Here and in China, right? <laughs> yes. All right, Shabby. Angel. I don't know, Shabby. Do you remember I mean, uh, it is? Uh, uh, Decastado. Yes. No sé, yes, correct, Shabby. Oh, you know, we, don't, okay. we don't really, sorry about that. You know, I'm moving this screen. When I go to the next screen, there we go. Katia, oh, what's going on over here? My computer is crazy tonight. Hey. Yeah, the thing is that I want to include Katia into the conversation. I'm gonna send it to here. You know, I, I'll be closing the rooms in two minutes, all right? So I gotta go and see somebody else uh, practice and see if I can help him out. All right. So, mm -hmm. right, so uh, are you done practicing? Hi, teacher. Hello. So, did, did, did you finish practicing already? Yes, yeah, teacher. All right. So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you, Mirna, and then uh, Felipe. You know, one by one. So you're gonna be taking turns, or so van a tomar turnos. And I'm gonna ask you uh, to start with dangerous. You just tell me positive or negative, just like that, okay? Yes? Yes. There dangerous. we go. Okay, yes, you don't have to tell me, let's say, you don't, yeah, you don't have to tell me, to make this quickly, you don't have to tell me uh, the adjective. Dangerous mm -hmm. is, is negative or dark is positive, for example. You just tell me positive or negative, mm -hmm. just like that, okay? So yes, yes. for for you, Miss uh, Mrs. Lopez, small. Um, pa positive um, or negative? Um, possibly, possibly. Okay. My how it? Huh? Yes. So do you think if your house is small, is that a more positive or or a uh, more negative thing? Es, 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 eso depende. It depends. Contexto, yeah, but, 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 correct. But if I ask you, if I asked you, so would you like to live in, mm -hmm. a, in a big house? I don't know, with a garden, a yard, and three bedrooms and everything. Don't you think that would be better for your children? But as, yeah. you, as, you, as you said, it depends. So that that's okay. But let, let's mm -hmm. agree on something. Let's agree on something. For most people, for most people here in El Salvador and I would say in, in somewhere else, do you think to have a small uh, living room it's better or or, or not? Or or, or or negative? Positive or negative? Negative. Yeah, it's negative for most people. All right. Thank you. What about a huge Felipe? Is that positive or negative? Huge. Huge. Um, this one it depends. <laughs> you may say, right? But let's let's say we're talking about an apartment or a house. Is, is mm -hmm. Yes, but if you have a big problem or or a huge uh, bill or if you have a, a huge, uh huh. Yes. For example. Uh, my my bedroom is hot. Huge. You you're lucky, you know. You're very yeah. lucky. Tienes suertudo. <laughs> Afortunado. Yeah. Because I, I don't want I don't want to start crying about my living room and <laughs> everything over there. That's okay. You know, we're gonna come back to the main station. But remember, at least I'm gonna give you one more minute. At least practice with Mirna. She's going to tell you, she's going to describe her house or her apartment. Or puede inventar, it doesn't really matter. You can make, make this up. You can say, like in this example, it says, my house is very bright. And you can say, but it's too small. You can say that. It's up to you. But, uh, but, um, but you can say, uh, but fortunately, I live in a very safe neighborhood. 
and that's a blessing. Es una bendición. You know, live, living in, in a safe a neighborhood nowadays. Okay? So you have one more minute. Teacher. Yes, uh, sir. I don't, I don't remember the conjunction, the conjunciones, uh, but however... Uh, no, it was... You say and, but, neither, okay, yet, those are but. Use but and and, okay? <laughs> Utilice uh -huh. pero y. With those ones, I'm going to clap for you, all right? Okay. Yes, so those are the main ones. Just try to remember the word uh, fan or voice, you know, like but and yet, for, you know. So you got one more minute. Okay. All right, so good evening, Katia. Good evening, Rodrigo. Good evening, teacher. All right, could you help me please with, uh, I don't know, putting this in context, into context, but, but giving, by, share, but by sharing with us an example based on your uh, house, your parents' house, your own apartment, or just make up a statement here. You may use these, these uh, adjectives or the ones you prefer. Please, like, like in this example I'm sharing with you. Would you please help us, um, Katia? Like say, I don't know, my house is, is huge, but I have very noisy neighbors. Like noisy neighbors at the same time, you may say that. Okay. Mm, okay. Um, my house is small, mm -hmm. but it's safe okay time. okay that's <laughs> great that's great i appreciate the example in there let's see uh mr angel martinez can you uh describe your house with two sentences or three it's up to you it's up to you you may say uh you may say i live in a quiet neighborhood or in a private uh neighbor exactly it's up uh-huh Okay, my my house is uh -huh. is it's very um is very uh, big. Oh no, it's big. Huge. You can say huge. Huge. Huge means enorme. Huge. Uh -huh. Huge. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. My house. It is very huge. Uh huh. And uh, is example. My house is little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. If you use real examples, that'd be better. Uh, then, uh, mm -hmm. you know, let's use let's use a connector. Let's use okay. a connector. You know, to sound a little bit uh, more uh, natural. Like my, my house, house is. Okay. Let me my help you. House. My house, my house is small and uh, noisy. That's my house and noisy. But I would say, however, but it's in the uh, in a safe neighborhood. And that's that's true. Okay. So that's okay. my own story. Mm -hmm. My house mm -hmm. is. My house is very clean, but the Maybe but it's, it's a small. Yeah, okay. Well, you may say it's too far, too far from my job. Now let's let's continue mm -hmm. with the next next image here. 
what's the what's the name of the image or, or the one I'm sharing with you? Mm -hmm. How what's the name of the image I'm sharing with you right now? It is. Uh huh. This is how it is very exactly. So it's not it's, comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not comfortable at all. That's right. Okay, let me just one moment here. Let me send this to you right away. So you can, uh, you know, appreciate and see all of the really features. It's cramped, I would say. Dingy, dingy. Come on. You may say dingy. dingy. <laughs> yes, you may say dingy. Correct. Mm -hmm. Or I just um, sent it. I just sent it to you through the WhatsApp. All right. Mm -hmm. So open it up. You know, you may zoom in to to see all the details in there. So what do you see? Can somebody describe this? What do you see in this image? Starting with the title, you know, starting with the title, the bed sitting room. So we, we over here, we're overlapping or integrating two separate rooms in the house. So you have the bed sitting room, the bedroom plus the living room. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Yeah. Um, Yes, so Elizabeth, what, what do you see in the picture? You can say there is uh, a couple, there are the children, they, I don't know, they're sleeping and the house is small, etc. Yeah, I don't know, Elizabeth or anybody else that would like to help us with this? I, I think this is the perfect opportunity for you to speak. But would, you, but would you like to do it, Elizabeth, with your classmate in purse, in the breaker rooms? Excuse me, I don't understand. <laughs> no, not a problem. Uh, would you like to practice, you know, to speak in yeah. purse with a classmate in a breaker room? Yeah. yeah. All right, I think that's better, you know, to break the ice. Es mejor, ¿verdad? Sentimos más en confianza con nuestros compañeros. But listen yeah. up, but listen up, please. What you're going to do, you're going to take turns with your classmates describing what you see in the picture. And you may use the adjectives or features that you feel more comfortable with. You may use the ones we just uh, described, with like cramped, small, huge, uh, uh, noisy, uh, shabby, dingy, etc. But you can use the ones you have. O sea, van a describir lo que miran. Aquí está algo desordenado. There's something on the floor. Okay. There's no space, etc. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Y eso sí es pero y el perico está diciendo que todo está bien. <laughs> Ahí dice. Mm -hmm. eh? so a, lot, a lot of details, so do not miss them up. All right. No se los pierdan. And here we go. So let's go back to practice. And uh, Noria is with Rodrigo, Fel Felipe with Iris, Elizabeth with uh, Katia, Ingrid with Mirna, Angel with, Mar with uh, Patricia. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Right, so Ingrid, uh, please join the break rooms. You too, Rodrigo. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Yes. Thanks, God. You know, we're safe and sound. Vivito y coleando, ¿verdad? Gracias a Dios. Yeah. Gracias a Dios. De hecho, esa expresión, vivito y coleando, se la vamos a mandar. Yo creo que ya la sabe, ¿verdad? pero vamos a recordar. Uh -huh. Safe and sound. Nada que ver, ¿verdad? Pero así se dice. Did you get it? Safe and sound, vivitos y coleando. Okay. Creo que esa vamos a practicar safe mañana. Sí, so, yeah, we are safe and sound, vivitos y coleando. Safe and sound for second day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right. And so how do you say, how do you say primero Dios? Uh -huh. 
How do you say primero Dios? ¿Cómo dice primero Dios? No, no problem. Ok. No, no, no. Ajá. Ajá. At least we have something. Tenemos un comienzo. At least we have something. Vaya, voluntad de Dios, se dice en inglés. Good. God's will. All right. Okay. That's what you say, primero Dios. So, God's will. God's will, the hurricane doesn't hit El Salvador too much. Ojalá que no nos alcance el huracán. You know, God's will. All right. God's, God's will. If you, if you write it down, no, no, if you write it down, you, you should write God with capital con mayúscula e y su voluntad con mayúscula. Ok. No. So, Rodrigo, we're not able to hear you, man. Uh, sir, uh, your connection is not stable, sir. So, uh, so Noria, let's, okay. let's try to practice with the image. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. Describe what you see. I'm sending a message. Estoy mandando un mensaje ahorita. In the picture. Right? With your classmate. There you go. Creo que un mensaje el recibió ahí, ¿verdad? You got a message. Yep. No. No. All right, so one more time. Describe. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. You got it, all right? Okay, yes. So let's let's go ahead, please. Uh, let me uh, share the screen with you. So we're on the same page. Not a problem. So what do you see in the image, Noria, or maybe Rodrigo? Okay, in a this picture is, I see a, it's a bedroom, it's, it's, um, uh, uh, there are, uh, Shabby. Shabby, Shabby, oh, you, 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 Shabby, 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 <clears throat> Correct. I'm sorry. You can say use. You can say use or shabby. Same thing. Or old. You can ah, also say okay. old. Old. Very old. If you don't remember, oh. you can also say very old. Okay. Very old. Very old. Ah, okay. Well, the, yes. This is a very old bell. Mm -hmm. um, it's a. Uh, Messi, como el jugador. It's a Messi. Uh -huh. It's a Messi from. It's a table you would say cover yeah. cover with okay. I see, um... all right yes let's do, let's do something uh -huh. uh, Noria I'm going to break um, I'm sorry I'm going to yeah I'm going to close I'm going to close the breaker rooms so you, you have to come back to the main station and then I'll, we'll continue with the class and let's see maybe tomorrow we will continue with this but if you like keep on practicing at home like this like this but i think this is a good, good idea don't you think so it's a good practice no creo que sí sirve un poquito de practicar esto sí mucho yes yes hopefully you know that's the idea so let me uh break this uh, it's funny to see the, the pair of, you know, perico or lo que sea, guacamaya. It says, this is all right. <laughs> Todo está bien, it says. Yes, right. no, not true. It's not true, right? It's not true. It's not true, correct. Uh, uh, not true. 
Yes, it's not true. I promise I speak it. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> you know the, the parrot parrot repeats what what he hears, what he listens to. You have one minute, all right? Okay, so in a few in a few hours, eh, either Donald Trump <laughs> or Biden will make history, you know. Yes, in the United States, the election presidential election is, no, no, no. It's it's still going on. Right? We don't know yet. I I need uh, I need win. <laughs> Byron. You need Biden, you need Biden to win. You need Biden to win. Okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. You may have your reasons over there. It's a mystery. It's, it's a mystery. Right now it's a you know in the United States, democracy it's a little bit more complex. Un poco más complejo, like here in El Salvador. It's more mm -hmm. complex. Because it's not only the, the popular vote, but also no. the electorate. Que el electorado de Both. Los yeah. dos son igual de malos. <laughs> yes. Entre los yeah. dos hay que escoger a uno. <laughs> like we said, in, in, like people said in my hometown, lo menos peor. <laughs> sí. O lo más peor. Nuestra historia. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, mejor right. eso hubiéramos descrito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Bye. You would have. Let's let's move on over here. Yes, too. Nice. So let's continue over here. So every, the grammar. Ah. Okay. Sorry. So the grammar for. Ah, for yeah. Vamos a leer nuestra habitación. <laughs> All right. Making comparison with us and us in here. The same of different. That's the question over here. Same of different. Have you ever had the dilemma of choosing between two things? I think you have, yes. <laughs> no. Choosing between one friend, you know, one car, one uh, uh, girlfriend, uh, husband, etc. Okay, one dog, one house, one job, one president. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So, do you tend to compare places or products? Yes or not? Yes, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, you can use the comparative <clears throat> of equality to express these ideas. O sea, utilizamos esta gramática to compare things, to compare people, okay? Situations, jobs, food. You know, como me cocina mi mamá, como cocino yo, like my wife, my husband, etc. You, you also compare your children, you know, comparamos un hijo with another one, and, you know, unconsciously, lo hacemos inconscientemente, but we do it. It's very okay. normal. Yeah, <laughs> it's normal. Yeah. It's normal, it's normal, correct. <laughs> or, 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 or our parents, you know, you, cuando, yo, cuando yo vivía, cuando yo vivía con mis papás, or whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's continue here. Comparison of equality. That's why we have here in this image some sports. You have a skateboarding. What else do we have in here? This one, this gentleman. What sports is this one? This one. Mm football yeah. americano no yeah it's it's a football it's okay. it's a it's american football yeah this one what about what about this one baseball baseball that's, that's baseball yeah hey, to be honest with you i don't practice any of this <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to play baseball, the match, American football, and then Sky, skateboarding. Sky. Skateboarding. Sky. skateboarding. Sky. Yeah. Skateboard. It's a little bit risky, you know, un poco arriesgado, right? Risky. 
Okay, so let's let's uh, try to practice this conversation. So this conversation is be, it's uh, between three family members, verdad? Tres miembros de una misma familia. It's the husband, Mr. Dean, and the wife, Mrs. Dean, Señora de, and we have Mr. Dean, okay? And then we have the daughter, Jenny, and. Uh, Perdón, sorry about that. So we have Mr. Dean, Mrs. Dean, and then we have Jenny. So three people three. In, in the conversation, all right? So uh, listen to me, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice the conversation for you so you can listen to the pronunciation. And then I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms so you can practice with your classmates in, in groups of three, all right? Mm -hmm. Nice, here we go. So Mr. Dean says, what do you think? Or what do you think? And then Mrs. Dean, which is uh, his uh, wife replies, well, he has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. And the living room is huge, huge. You know, it's a big living room. That's what she's saying. And Jenny, Jenny replies, or actually she says, but the bedrooms are too small and there isn't enough closet space for my clothes okay and then mr dean o sea el papá dice okay de regreso ya, ya habló la hija ya habló la esposa <laughs> now mr dean replies and it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw as you can see what does mr dean do at the beginning como comienza Comienza preguntándole a la esposa, ¿qué pensás o qué piensa? <laughs> you know, authorization, you know, looking for permission over there. That's okay. All right. And then, con let's continue. It says, Mrs. Dean, but that apartment was dark and dingy, un poco sucio, right? Desgastado. And it was in a dangerous neighborhood. That happened. So what do you prefer? To have, to live in, in a big house? or in a safe neighborhood. I will go with a safe neighborhood, right? Always. And then you have, let's see if the real estate agent, o sea, la gente de bienes raíces, este, this one over here, real estate agent has something else to show us. Real estate. Okay, real estate agent. Por eso que tiene una E acá. No es Estado, como the United States. Si tiene una E, es... Significa bienes raíces, estate, bienes raíces. Y todo junto, real, real estate agent means agente de bienes raíces, real estate agent. So, go to go practice groups of three, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open the breaker rooms and this is the last thing you're going to be doing. Tenemos dos minutos y se acaba, okay. all right? Okay. Right. Hasta lo último. Yes. <laughs> okay, just one second, come over here. Poco explotador el teacher, va, pero ahí vamos. Sí, <laughs> ok, there we go. At least one minute. Let's try to practice. Ya está, it's open over there. Yeah. Ok, Iris, Katia, Patricia, together. Felipe, Mirna, Noria, together, please. And then Angel, Elizabeth, and Rodrigo, please. Together. Go ahead, please. One minute, please. Teacher. Ah, perdón. Uh -huh. Yeah, now that you reminded me of this, I'm going to send it to you right now. Los mando a trabajar y no les mando las cosas, vea. Es mala gente. Eh, here we go. Sorry about that. There you go. You got it, right? Let's go. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I will be Mr. Dean. Okay. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> Miss Miss Steen, will will it uh will it has yeah? The room is huge. Y Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Rodrigo. <laughs> oh. But the bathroom are too tall in the there is no close space for closets. Oh. 
Okay. And uh, it's not as cheap as the last apartment. Look without... at my screen. Look at my screen, eh, Mr. Martinez. Uh, I'm sharing the screen. Estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Look at my screen. Please. Sorry about that. Uh -huh, Mrs. Dean. But okay. that apartment was dark and dingy. Mm -hmm. And it was in a dangerous neighborhood. Okay. Let's. Let's see is the real estate agent or agent, right? Has something else to show to us. Nice. Let's go back to the main station and let's say goodbye. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. All right, so thank God we made it. Okay, bajo una emergencia nacional. <laughs> I think we are the only ones who are having classes right now in Safor. I think is, is the only one because in in schools in, in in the country classes you know are canceled. But hopefully tomorrow we're gonna have class again if the hurricane doesn't hit us you know too much demasiado. Mm -hmm. Primero Dios. God's will you know God's will primero Dios. So have a great night everyone. And see you tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. Thanks for joining. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night. Good night. Be, safe. Good night. Be safe, please. Good night. Right. Goodbye. Good night. You too. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.